Community Development Youth and Religion Minister Delilah Gore visited Utah and the United States earlier this month to attend the 22nd Annual International Law and Religion Symposium. The symposium was hosted by the Church of Jesus Christ for Latter-day Saints with the aim of finding the importance and purpose of churches in this day and age. Minister Gore presented PNG's perspective towards churches and some current government policies that are in line with this, such as the Church-State Partnership Program. Jahab Akia reports. Held annually in the United States by the Mormons Church, the annual International Law and Religion Symposium aims to identify religious differences and work together for the greater good of all people. Sponsored by the LDS Church, it is usually attended by government and church leaders from all over the world, where discussions are held to find common ground where people of different ethnicities and religion may coexist. Representing the PNG government, Minister Gore attended and was able to highlight PNG's perspective in this area and what the state was doing to assist this sector. After pointing out the freedom religion is given in Papua New Guinea. Religion in Papua New Guinea is predominantly Christian with traditional animation and ancestor worship still found in some places. The courts and governments in both the practice of holding a constitution right to freedom of speech, thought and belief. She pointed out the guiding principles and values between the state and church partnerships, saying they have to be based on productivity, sustainability and accountability, and that existing partnerships need to be strengthened. Ms. Gore also explained that the general consensus for the role of her ministry is to develop and improve policies and legislations to enhance and strengthen the work of all churches. The church-state partnership programs may include HIV-AIDS prevention programs, national government grants to churches, outsourcing programs to churches, marriage celebrates, celebrants, counseling safe house to domestic violence and sexual violence. Participants attended regional sessions as well as larger meetings to share ideas and experiences on this important issue. They were also given tools and sightseeing opportunities as recreation during the symposium. Jehab Akia, NBC National News, Port Mosby.